Why do we make our kids play like adults? I think a lot of people now realise the one single reason that kids drop out of football is through parental pressure or coach pressure. And I think people are starting to realise that. And as we say, look, we want the kids to enjoy it, but we want you as a coach to enjoy it. We want you as a parent to enjoy your Sunday morning. We don't want you there purple-faced with eyes bulging just because your kid's playing a game of football. Okay. Brock told me hands up. I was one of them parents shouting, you know, calling ref a uh, muppet and everybody's rubbish ball my son, you know, but uh, once you, you get into your coaching courses and you end up running a club like I do here and you, you know, you educate yourself, you, you, the penny drops and you realise, you, you know, that is not, not the way forward. Uh, you've, you've got to change and, and do things properly. We know a lot of parents used to come down, it was win at all costs, shout at the kids, give them incorrect information. You could see the kids' shoulders drop in, you could see they didn't want to play, you know? So we had to talk to the kids and say, do you know what the impact you're having on your child? and do you listen to your child when you do that? I think there's still a bit of an ethos within certain parents of winning is very important. And at the briefing, uh, our welfare officer, Graham Armand, brought out the fact that he's actually had to change his outlook on things of saying, did you win? It's rather now, how well did you play? What did you do that was good? What did you see that was good? I always stay with him, I watch the game um, and the first thing we always say is did you enjoy it? That's the, the most important thing for me is did he have a good time? It doesn't matter if he won or if he lost, did he have fun? And you know, they are still really competitive even though they're small, they still want to win. But if he didn't win, it doesn't matter, so what? As long as he had fun and he enjoyed the game, played with his friends and, and that's it really. His parents are shouting to him, telling him they're rubbish and you know what he'd done that for, that's, that, that's not going to benefit on one iota. So, uh, yeah, they, they, they listen to what, what the parents tell them. Uh, and, and it's all got to be positive as far as I'm concerned. Or, or you don't say anything. You either support them or you keep, keep short, that's it. You don't use criticism. You use praise all the time. And because you use praise, they're really happy to carry on and play. As an adult, I prefer to be praised than to be criticised. I see more that the coaches discourage the, the parents from being too involved on the sideline and shouting instructions to their children. I think the coaches more and more are asking the parents to take a step back and allow the coaches to get on with it and then the children enjoy themselves more. I think the best thing for parents to do, in my perspective, once they're on the pitch, it's down to the coaches to deal with what was going on or the referees that was going on. I don't think it's for us to interrupt what they're doing because they're, they're trained to, to deal with everything on the pitch. So it's just nice to come along and just watch them and see the enjoyment that they have. They, they can actually see that what we're doing is right. It, 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 it's interesting sometimes when we go to other sites and play against other teams that they watch the attitude of some of the other parents from the other clubs and think, I now know what Stuart was talking about because what they're doing isn't right. I think it's really important that, that the club and the team stay in communication with the parents and let them know what's going on and let them know how their children are developing as players. At, at our club we've certainly got the parents to buy into what we're actually doing and they can see the benefits because at the end of the day they get getting better footballers um, or more skilled footballers. Working with parents is crucial to this. The children and the parents need to build into this philosophy and understand when you come to this club, it's not win-centric, it's about player-centric, it's about young people. Kids football's changing. Find out how to play your part at theFA.com forward slash kids football.